Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be reviewing a question from the ROS answers forum. This question specifically, which says ROS launch can locate node, but ROS run works fine. So we are going to be reviewing and answering and trying to answer this question. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's start with the video. So, as I've just said, I'm going to be having a look, reviewing this question, and I'm going to try to answer it the best I can. So basically it says, I'm working on a simple note written entirely in Python. To make it work with ROS launch, I made it into a package. I got the package working fine and I can run ROS on my package controller just fine. However, when I run it in a ROS launch file, it gives the error. Error cannot launch node of type my package controller, can locate node controller in package my package. What is wrong with my environment or package? As a minimum example, I get this with a simple launch file. So this is his launch file, I suppose, the launch file he is using. And he also says, what I've tried so far, changing the name of the executable from controller to controller pi, setting 777 permissions on the executable, and relaunching the terminal. Okay, so let's try to reproduce this. So I'm going to go, as always, to RDS, to the ROS Development Studio. And I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call it, let's say, QA video. QA video. There we are. So let's create quickly this project and let's open it here. Open project and then let's wait a few seconds until the wall environment loads. And there we are. Excellent. So let's first of all open a shell and an IDE. There we have it. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to create the package. So I'm going to go to the Catkin workspace, SRC directory, and here I'm going to create my package. Let's call it a video QA, and I will add Rospy as, as a dependency because we are going to be working with Python, so yeah, here I have my package, video QA, that lets that here a new file, which I'm going to call in this case, let's say test. Okay, but I'm not going to name it .py for the moment, I'm going to leave it like this. And let's create here a very simple Python script. So, first of all, set the environment to Python. There we are. Then let's import rospy, let's initiate a node, which I'm going to call test. And then I'm going to put, for instance, while not rospy is shut down. So while I don't stop my program, I'm going to print hello there. Let's just define our rate very quickly. I dot rate of one hertz and rate asleep. There we are. So yeah, I have basically created here a very simple Python script. As you can see, I'm importing Rospy, initiating the node. I generate here a rate for my while loop. Then while not Rospy shoot down, so while I don't stop my program, the program will keep publishing at a one hertz rate this uh, hello there, this print. Yeah, so quite, quite simple. Then let's add here a launch folder and a launch file for this Python code, which I'm going to call test launch. There we are. Then let's, let me switch this to XML for a second, there we are. So launch the node tag and then here let's specify everything, type, name, 
and I'm going to add also output to screen. So the name of the package, in this case it's video QA. The type, I'm going to name it test, as it is here in his example. Yes, without any extension. And the name of the node, in my case, it is... It is test. Okay. So, here we have it. Then, great, well, what I'm going to do now is test this, and for that, let me start a simulation. I'm going to, for instance, let's start the Chatsabot 2 simulation, so that I have a raw score running, because without a raw score, I won't be able to execute this, we, neither with raw run nor with raw launch. So I need to have the raw score running. And by launching a, a simulation here, I will automatically have the raw score running. So that's it. Yeah, because I'm not going to do anything in the simulation, but I need this raw score. There we are, so it's uh, it's loaded. There we have it. Okay, excellent. So now let's come back here and let's try to do a ROS run video QA of test. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says cool couldn't find executable, name it, test, bellow, okay. So this, I guess that it's because the file doesn't have execution permissions. Okay, so let's come here to the video QA SRC folder, and as you can see, the file doesn't have execu execution permissions. So I'm going to add these permissions to the file. There we are. And let's try again. Now, see what happens. Video QA test. Okay, so now it's working uh, correctly. Yeah, as you can see, it's printing the hello there. This hello there here. Yes. So everything is working fine. Great. So now let's try this ROS launch. Video QA test dot launch. Let's see what happens with the ROS launch. Okay, so as you can see, it is also working. Yes? So both ROS run and ROS launch are working. So what could be happening to this user? What I guess is that probably he's tr uh, he has renamed the test file to test.py, for instance. Let me rename this. Okay. And now, if I try, oh sorry, if I, it was video query, if I try to execute this again, it will give an error. Yes, you will see now, which is the exact error that he is uh, showing there. Cannot launch node of type video QA test, can locate node test in package video QA. So probably the name that he has in his in his package doesn't match the name that he has put in the in the launch file. Yes, and this for Python is very important because if this was a CPP, so this is important to know. If this was a CPP file instead of a Python. Yes, if this was a CPP file, let me do this bigger. I would have to compile it and everything, but then, when I call it from the launch file, I do not need to specify anything here. Because an executable is created, is generated from the CPP file. So I would have in my source this CPP file, and in my launch file I would have just test without the extension. Yes? But for Python, what I recommend to do always is to, first of all, name your file with the extension .py. Yes, so if it is a Python, name it whatever dot py. Don't name it like this, just test, like I did before, yes. Don't do it like this. Be sure to always add the dot py extension. And then, in your launch file, you specify your file with the extension as well. So like this, test dot py in the type 
argument. Yes, so you would have in your launch file your file with the extension exactly the same as it is named here in your in your folder, in your source folder. Yes, this way it will work always. So now I can whether do ROS run video QA test.py and it will work. As you can see, it is working well. And you can also do the ROS launch video QA and test.launch and it will also work. Yes? There you have it. Okay? So what I recommend to the user is to put rename his file here with the extension to have the extension .py and in the launch file put inside the type the name of your file with the extension. So in your case would be to name name your Python file like this controller.py name it like this and then in your launch file add also here the .py extension, so controller.py here. This way, I would say that it's 100% sure, sure that it will work, okay? Uh, if not, just let me know, okay? I will add now here uh, an answer down here. So, yeah, that's all for the video of today. I hope you have learned something. I, and, and that was all. In the description of the video, you will find a link to both the ROS Development Studio and the Robot Ignite Academy in case you want to to know how to access here. I will also add a link to a ROS Basics course so that you can learn all these basic things of creating launch files, creating Python scripts, uh, creating packages, etc. I will also add the link uh, to that course in the description of this video. And did you like the video? If you did it, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye!